Vet Talk was good, man. I know my platform is for veterans and everyone who listened to it. So I want to give a little PSA, public service announcement. The one thing about me, I'm not trying to make people believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to force nobody to, you know, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's not what I'm about, and that's not what I will try to do. Because again, there's nothing I can do to do that. The word says it's by his loving kindness that, that he draw men unto him. And one of the, you know, factors that most people don't understand is I didn't get saved because of a choice I made. I got saved because he chose me. When I didn't want to believe in him, when I was fighting, you know, against him, you know, I at one time had the struggles as a black man, you know, feeling like, you know, a little bit society wasn't fair to me because of, you know, some of the things that happened between black and white folks and everything else, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I came across a lot of that stuff. I've seen some of the Hebrew stuff. I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff, man, especially when I started, you know, researching things in the Bible. And, you know what I'm saying? I found myself finding out that, you know, black people, you know, were, you know, the people in Egypt and different things like that, man. Like, I had a lot of struggles with that stuff because I was trying to find my identity, which I didn't know. Part of the problem was, you know, my fatherlessness um, situation. I had my father in my life, but, you know, again, I had issues that, you know, me and my father had shared at one time to where, you know, I was upset with him about some things. So it made me start searching and seeking for identity. And I came across the black stuff. And, you know, there's some truth to some of that stuff. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The Bible talks about, you know, there being no Jew, no Greek, you know, male, no female, but all being one in Christ. And when he died, man, at the end of the day, his blood, you know, redeemed everybody. There's not a specific color. There's not a specific group of people. He's there for the Jews and the Gentiles. That's what he died for, the Jews and the Gentiles. That was the secret. That was the mystery, you know what I'm saying, of Jesus Christ. It was all about him bringing all his people together, which are those who choose to believe in him, those who choose to follow him. So when it come down to it, man, I'm never going to argue with nobody who don't believe that. Because again, I didn't draw myself, man. And I'm not trying to convince you. I'm not trying to fight with you. None of that stuff, man. At the end of the day, I just pray that your eyes open up and you will see the truth. Because at the end of the day, man, the most important thing for me is being a husband and being a father. Being a good provider, protect the priest for my home. You know, arguing with people that I don't know over social media and all these other platforms, I won't do that at all. You know why? Because I wrestle not against flesh and blood, man. That's the, I, I say that scripture repeatedly because I truly understand and believe that. And that's what helped me get over that hatred towards my dad. That's what helped me to get over the hatred towards, you know, the United States and, you know, different people who I blame for some of the issues and things that I was going through. That's what helped me to get over myself because, you know, of the mistakes I made. Trust and believe me, man, I had to go in front of my own door and clean up a lot of things. And the fact of the matter is I didn't clean it up. God did. I gave it to him. I confessed it to him. I confessed my faults. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I just pray that, you know what I'm saying, your eyes will be open. And if not, man, if he don't draw you, then I guess it's just considered the fact that you are not his. But I won't give up hope. And I won't stop believing for God to save you because Jesus came that you may have life and life more abundantly. And his blood is able to redeem, able to heal, set free, and deliver you from all diseases. And sometimes that disease can be in your mind the way you think. And I pray that you will believe. Because it's a whomsoever will. The Bible said those who, who endure to the end shall be saved. So I'm in this race to endure. I don't know quit. Quit in me. That's part of me being who I am and knowing who I am. And I pray that you do the same. That talk out.